Hello and welcome to Less Code Hub. In today's video, we're going to be talking about SharePoint interview questions. What is SharePoint and what are its benefits? SharePoint is a web-based platform developed by Microsoft that allows businesses to store, organize, and share information and documents within their organization. SharePoint provides many benefits, including Centralized storage of data and documents Collaboration between team members Better organization of content and data Easy search and retrieval of data Automated workflows to streamline business processes what are the different types of SharePoint deployment models, and what are the differences between them? The different types of SharePoint deployment models are On-premises deployment Cloud-based deployment On-premises deployment involves installing SharePoint on a company's own servers, while cloud-based deployment involves hosting SharePoint in the cloud using services like Microsoft 365. The main difference between the two deployment models is that on-premises deployment requires companies to purchase and maintain their own servers, while cloud-based deployment is hosted and managed by a third-party provider. What is a site collection in SharePoint, and how is it different from a site? A site collection in SharePoint is a collection of sites that share common settings and permissions. Each site collection has a unique top-level site that serves as the parent site for all the sites within the collection. A site, on the other hand, is a single website within a site collection. Sites can be created within a site collection to serve different purposes, such as team collaboration, document management, or project management. What is a SharePoint list and how can it be used? A SharePoint list is a collection of data that can be accessed and manipulated through a web interface. Lists can be used to store all kinds of information, from contacts and tasks to inventory and customer information. Lists can also be customized with different fields, views, and workflows to fit specific business needs. What is a SharePoint web part, and how can it be used? A SharePoint web part is a modular unit of content that can be added to a SharePoint page to provide additional functionality. Web parts can be used to display data from a SharePoint list or library, provide navigation links, or display social media feeds. SharePoint provides a variety of web parts out of the box, and custom web parts can also be created to meet specific business requirements. What is SharePoint Designer, and how can it be used? SharePoint Designer is a free tool provided by Microsoft that can be used to create and customize SharePoint sites and workflows. SharePoint Designer can be used to create custom workflows that automate business processes, as well as to create custom web pages and forms. What is SharePoint's versioning feature, and how can it be used? SharePoint's versioning feature allows users to track changes to documents over time. When versioning is enabled, SharePoint automatically creates a new version of a document every time it is saved or checked in. Users can view previous versions of a document and restore a previous version if needed. Versioning can be used to keep track of changes made to important documents, as well as to collaborate on documents with multiple authors. How can SharePoint be integrated with other Microsoft products like Office and Teams? SharePoint can be integrated with other Microsoft products like Office and Teams to provide a seamless user experience. For example, Users can access SharePoint documents directly from within Microsoft Word or Excel, and SharePoint lists can be synced with Outlook calendars. Teams can also be used to collaborate on SharePoint documents and to access SharePoint files from within the Teams interface. What is SharePoint's permission model, and how can it be used? SharePoint's permission model allows administrators to control access to SharePoint sites, lists, and documents. Permissions can be assigned to individual users or groups, and different levels of permissions can be granted, such as read-only, contribute, or full control. The permission model can be used to ensure that sensitive information is only accessible to authorized users and to control who can modify or delete documents. How can SharePoint be used for business intelligence and reporting? SharePoint can be used for business intelligence and reporting by integrating with other Microsoft products like Power BI and Excel. SharePoint can be used to store data in lists or libraries, which can then be accessed and analyzed using Power BI or Excel. Reports and dashboards can be created using Power BI or Excel and published to SharePoint for easy access and collaboration. 
SharePoint's collaboration features can also be used to share reports and insights with team members. What is the difference between a SharePoint farm and a SharePoint server? A SharePoint farm is a collection of one or more SharePoint servers that work together to provide a scalable and reliable environment for SharePoint. A SharePoint server, on the other hand, is a single instance of SharePoint that provides specific functionality, such as web services or search. In other words, a SharePoint farm is a group of SharePoint servers working together, while a SharePoint server is an individual unit that provides specific services to the farm. How can SharePoint be used for records management, and what are some of the key features of records management in SharePoint? SharePoint can be used for records management by providing a centralized location for storing and managing records. Key features of records management in SharePoint include the ability to declare records, manage retention schedules, and apply legal holds to prevent records from being deleted. SharePoint also provides auditing and reporting features to help organizations comply with regulatory requirements. What is the SharePoint app model, and how can it be used to extend SharePoint's functionality? The SharePoint app model is a development model that allows developers to build custom applications that integrate with SharePoint. Apps can be developed using a variety of technologies, including HTML5, JavaScript, and .NET. Apps can be used to extend SharePoint's functionality by adding custom lists, web parts, workflows, and other features. What is the difference between SharePoint Online and SharePoint Server, and what are some of the key differences between the two? SharePoint Online is a cloud-based version of SharePoint that is hosted by Microsoft and accessed through the Internet. SharePoint Server, on the other hand, is installed on-premises and managed by the organization's IT department. Key differences between the two include the cost and complexity of deployment, the level of control and customization, and the availability of certain features and services. What is the SharePoint framework, and how can it be used to develop custom solutions for SharePoint? The SharePoint framework is a modern web development framework that allows developers to build custom solutions for SharePoint using open source tools and technologies. The framework provides a set of libraries, tools, and templates that can be used to build web parts, extensions, and other customizations for SharePoint. The framework is designed to be flexible and scalable, making it an ideal platform for developing custom solutions that integrate with SharePoint. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content.